okay, first things first, I just wanna wish everyone watching a very happy new year. I hope that you are setting huge goals for yourself this year, I know I am. And just going to this new year with a fresh start, clean mind, positive thoughts, and I promise you this is going to be an amazing year for all of us. I actually cannot believe that we're in 2019 because last year went by so fast. And if I'm being honest about last year, overall, it was a good year, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't a bad year. I got a lot of goals that I wanted to accomplish. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, but I did spend quite a bit of last year in like a dark mental place because I just felt, I think overall, lost. Like I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know why I was even doing this like whole YouTube thing, like what it was going to lead me. I, I didn't know all of that. So I definitely felt lost for a big part of the year last year. But towards the end of the year, like I wanna say, August through the rest of the year, I got this clarity and that clarity became focus. And I really started to understand my place where I stand in the beauty community and what I want to accomplish. And so I'm really taking that focus that I learned towards the end of last year and bringing it into 2019 and really just making all of my goals a reality. I am going into this new year with a lot of focus, beautiful vision board, a lot of hope and so much excitement because I definitely feel like this is going to be an amazing year for myself. Um, and I really hope you guys all feel the same way for you. And you know, if you are not, definitely create a vision board for yourself. Definitely create big goals that you wanna achieve and then really break those goals down into smaller goals that are achievable, that will get you closer to your big goal. But anyway, now we're gonna be talking all about Best of Beauty for 2018. And these products, I definitely plan on using this year as well because I'm looking at all the brands I have in front of me, which is why I keep looking this way. But truly, a lot of these brands, or actually most of these brands, are some of my favorite brands out there. And I love these specific products from my skin tone. And I've talked about all these products multiple times throughout last year, so this shouldn't be a big surprise to anyone. But anyway, let's just get right into it because I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long, even though it's gonna be long, but let's get right into it. Let's start at the very top, the base. And I'm not actually talking about any specific makeup primer in this video because I didn't like go crazy over any primer last year. I did use a lot of different primers, but like I said, nothing that like truly stands out to me. Instead, I wanna talk about SPF because that is major for me. And these are the two products that really, really stood out to me last year in terms of SPF. So the first one I've talked about a million times, this is the Shiseido Clear Skin UV Protector. This has an SPF of 50. It looks like a freaking deodorant stick. Like how cool is this? and it's completely clear. So you can use this under your makeup, over your makeup, apply it throughout the day. You can use it on your body, your face, anywhere you want. This thing is amazing. It's clear, works for everyone, and I love the packaging of it. I feel like it's just so easy and travel friendly. So of course I had to mention this. And then the second one is the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I personally just love using this underneath my makeup as a makeup primer before I step out the door. And love that this is completely clear once again. And I find that this actually makes my makeup last longer because it has like that silicone-y texture. So it creates like a beautiful base. My makeup just glides on and it stays on all day. So if you guys are looking for fabulous SPF products that are completely clear, that will work for all different skin tones, I definitely recommend these two. These two were like my favorites last year. Okay, now for foundation, and I bet you guys are going to think that I am going to be talking about the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. I'm actually not going to talk about this foundation today, even though I love it, and I love Fenty as a whole. They were a huge disruptor when they first launched in the beauty community, and they really made change happen. Everyone's calling it the Fenty effect, but they really, really made shades, like an inclusive shade range, a core focus and that's how they were so successful and of course I have so much love for the brand but I wanted to mention two other foundations that I actually found myself using even more than the Fenty Pro Filter and it is these two babies right here. I wanted to give you guys both options, both drugstore and high-end. So the first one is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro and I'm in the shade Sable. I'm wearing this on my skin right now and this is literally my skin tone exactly. 
Like this matches my face so well. I actually don't have any foundation on my neck and you can see it blends right in. It is such a good match for me. I love it, I love it. I love the coverage, I love the finish. It's beautiful, really recommend this. I've used this and talked about this a million times. And then the other foundation that I also have been loving is the L'Oreal True Match and I'm in the shade Caramel Beige W7. Now this shade is just a little too dark for me but with my concealer, which I will be talking about in just one second, um, you guys know I like to go lighter for my concealer, especially underneath the eyes. This works perfectly. It's from the drugstore. They have a beautiful shade range. It's affordable. It's stunning on the skin. And I just really like this foundation. So these were definitely my go-to picks for foundations of 2018. Okay, now let's move on to the concealer. And I know you're thinking that I'm going to mention the Tarte Shape Tape but I'm actually not. This concealer I actually discovered towards the end of 2018 and from the first moment I tried it, I fell in love with it and I cannot recommend it enough. This is my favorite concealer in my collection. The shade range is beautiful, the formula is amazing, the coverage is stunning and I just love it so much. It's from Jouer and it's called the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Now this is very high coverage like it's called high coverage but this is like full coverage and then some it is so pigmented but it's very creamy it blends out really nicely it actually blends right in with the foundation even though i like to go way lighter underneath my eyes as you guys can see but it blends in so perfectly i also find it to be so hydrating now for my bronzer and i think that this was part of my 2017 favorites if it wasn't it was part of like another like brown girl must have videos and I've also talked about this bronzer a million times and it is the bomb Bahama Mama bronzer I love this bronzer you guys it is so simple and easy and neutral not too warm not too cool it's just perfect it actually shows up on my skin tone and it just looks so nice I love this bronzer and if you guys are close to my skin tone and you're looking for one bronzer that you will use every single day to contour your face to add definition to your skin or just to like warm up your skin a little bit, this is it. All right, now let's move on to blush. And this might be a shock to you, but maybe not because I did use this a lot in 2018. But this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. Of course, I am wearing it today. I kind of feel like I need to add a little bit more because in person, I can definitely see it. But I feel like on my screen, my camera's washing it out a little bit. So let me just quickly add some. This is a cream blush. So you apply it with your fingers, just like I'm doing so on my cheeks, and it just adds the most stunning color on my face. Like, look at this color. It is so subtle, so pretty, and it never looks like you're overdoing it with your blush with this formula. I don't know how they made this formula so stunning and lightweight and pretty, but they did a great job with it. I love this formula, I love this blush, I love the color, and I really recommend it to you guys. Now for my highlight, and this I had a lot of trouble picking because I have so many different highlights that I just love, and I always like to try new highlights. Like I have highlights that are very subtle, I have highlights that are super pigmented, and everything in between. So this was hard for me, but I ultimately decided on these two right here because I found myself using these two a lot last year. So the first one is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 100 Molten Gold and this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful subtle gold highlight that is so stunning on all skin tones especially if you're my skin tone or darker than me. You're going to love this highlight. It's going to show up on you because it's very creamy and pigmented and even though this is a powder highlight it has a consistency of like a cream highlight it's just so pigmented and like perfect so really really love this and of course i had to mention this and then the other highlight that i also really like is from nars and this is my like everyday more subtle highlight it's called for the friends and it's almost like a champagne gold and it is just beautiful again very appropriate for everyday wear if you are someone that wants a little bit of glow to your skin without looking too over the top this is the way to go Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized that I totally forgot and skipped over my face powder. And in 2019, or not 19, 2018, I actually didn't really use a lot of like face compact. I did use them here and there, but I actually used loose powder to set my entire face makeup. And the one that just sticks out to me, actually, I have two. 
I have two. How can I have forgotten about this? Um, but the two that really, really stick out to me are these ones right here. So the first one is the MAC and Patrick Star Powder. You guys can see I've used up so much of it. Like, can you guys see that? I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see it. But literally, I use this thing every single day because this is like the most perfect face powder. I love to use it underneath my eyes to set my under eye makeup in place. But I also love to use it all over my face because it almost has like a creamy texture. There's no flashback whatsoever. It goes on completely clear, works on all different skin tones. And it has like a pinky tint, which I find to be very brightening underneath the eyes. So I love this powder. And I just found out that they made this permanent now because this was limited edition and I wanted to stock up, but it was sold out for such a long time. Anyway, this is permanent now. I really like it, really recommend it. Go get it. And then the other one that I also very much loved last year was the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Easy Break. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Easy Bake Loose Powder. Again, this is a very nice like brightening powder that works perfectly to bake underneath your eyes. I did also use this all over my face, but I mainly like to use this underneath my eyes to like really bake and brighten that area and this worked perfectly. Okay, so that's it for the face. Now let's move on to the eyeshadows and I have two different palettes here to share with you guys and I've definitely talked about both of these multiple times last year um, so again this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone watching the first one is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette I feel like this is just such a good basic but not so basic palette to have because this has a mix of everything that you'll ever need to complete any type of look you want to do. It has metallic shades, it has matte shades, warm shades, cool shades, like really fun bright shades, neutral shades. Literally something for everyone. It is definitely on the bigger side, like this is a pretty freaking big palette, but anytime I'm traveling I always take this with me because with this you don't need anything else. So this is a really good investment palette that you will use both daytime and nighttime. So I love this. I used this a lot last year. I also have to give a huge shout out to these mini palettes from Huda Beauty, which I freaking loved so much last year. Today's look I actually did in combination with both of these palettes. But if I was just to recommend one palette for my skin tone that is perfect, it would be the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. Look at these colors right here. They're so stunning, so practical, very easy to travel with. They're pigmented, they're beautiful. I just, I love these mini palettes and I feel like it's just so genius to come out with like such small palettes so that everyone can just take these on the go and if you wanna transition your makeup day to night, you can do that. I just love these palettes and my top two favorites are the Topaz and the Warm Brown. All right, now let's talk about some eyeliners and I actually don't have the one eyeliner that I obsessed over last year in front of me because I ran out of it but it is the cover girl liquid liner I'm gonna pop a picture of it right here I love that eyeliner it's so good it works so easy it's affordable it's great and I really recommend it and then um, the eyeliner that I love to use in my waterline is still the Marc Jacobs one I feel like this was part of my last year's or 2017 yearly favorites as well but I love these pencils, you guys. They're so pigmented, last in my waterline all day long without smudging or moving anywhere or like getting messy around the eyes. And let me just say that I wear contacts. I'm constantly applying like eye drops in my eyes because my eyes get irritated, they get very dry, and this pencil does not move. So if you're looking for a long lasting pencil, try the highliner. I think that's what these are called from Marc Jacobs. You will not be disappointed. I love these. Okay, now for mascara. Again, no shocker to anyone that's been following me for a while because I've literally talked about this mascara maybe like 30 times last year, but I love it. It's just so good. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black as well, but I really, really love the Lash Paradise. I think the packaging is stunning. The brush is amazing. It like really, really separates every single piece of hair on your lashes. It makes them look so big, so volumized, so black. And I just really like this, you guys. It's such an affordable mascara, but one that really compares to high-end mascaras. So I love this guy. And if you're looking for one mascara that you can go wrong with, this is it. Okay, now let's talk about lip products. And I have four, yeah, four to share with you guys, including one lip liner. 
And I wanted to just share one lip liner that I used a lot last year that is such a good neutral shade and one that will work with a lot of different lipsticks in your collection. And even though I have so many different lip liners, I just kept going back to this one. And of course, I am talking about the Makeup Forever High Precision Lip Liners, especially in the shade N13. I have other shades from this line as well, but N13 is my favorite because it is just so neutral, goes with every neutral lipstick in my collection. It's warm, it's pretty, it's perfect. I love it, I recommend it. And then let's talk about three lipsticks. Now, two of these lipsticks I kind of discovered towards the end of last year. So, the first one, again, is going to be no surprise to you if you follow me on Instagram. And I am talking about the CoverGirl, and this is the Full Spectrum Lipstick in the shade 213 Royalty. This is such a good, neutral, but colorful lipstick for my skin tone. It is beautiful, it's pigmented, it lasts a really long time, it's comfortable on the lips, and it's affordable, you guys. It's CoverGirl, I love it, recommend it. If you're close to my skin tone, you will love this. I also wanna talk about L'Oreal's lipstick in the shade Radical Rosewood. I freaking broke this lipstick, you guys, but I don't care because I love this lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It is such a good neutral shade for every day, for every occasion. And I just find this to be such a pretty shade. Like, I love this shade. And then last but not least, of course, I had to mention this lipstick as well. This is from Nude Sticks, and this is called the Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Retro. This is like a darker version of both of these lipsticks. It's still a neutral shade, but it's like one step up. This is a beautiful, like, nighttime shade, but you can also wear it during the day. I personally do all the time. And I just find this to be so complimentary on my skin. And I just love it. Okay, so that's it for all of my beauty favorites. I loved all of those products. But I do want to mention a few random favorites that I didn't get to use in today's video. But I love, love, love. And if you follow me on social media, especially on Instagram, you know that I loved this, these three products so much last year. The first one, of course, I'm talking about is the Dyson Airwrap. Now this product, you guys, was so controversial, I feel like, last year because of the price point. Um, it is very expensive. It starts at about $4.99, $500, and it goes all the way up to like $6.50, which I think is absolutely insane. But I've been using this now consistently, and by consistently, I mean like literally every time I wash my hair, um, and I just love it. I feel like it's worth every penny. I know that this was sent to me, but I would 100% go out and purchase this tomorrow if this broke for any reason or whatever. I love this product. It has changed my hair game. I freaking am so mad at myself for not using this in today's video. Um, but I really feel like this styles my hair better than any other product I've ever used. That's a big statement. So I really, really mean it. Um, this is not sponsored in any way. None of my posts have been sponsored by Dyson. This is like genuine, true love, and if you guys are considering buying this product, I definitely recommend it. Save your money, buy it, you will not be disappointed. This is like my baby. I just love this hair tool so much. Okay, last two favorites of 2018, and again, I don't know why I'm not wearing this nail polish today because I literally wear it every single day. Of course, the day I decide to switch my nail polish, I'm talking about this product. Um, and of course, I am talking about Essie's Topless and Barefoot. Now, I talked about this on Instagram like four times, and so many of you guys went out and purchased it and then sent me your pictures, which honestly makes me so happy anytime you guys do that. But I love this nail polish. It is such a good neutral color for my skin tone. Simple and pretty and just like perfect for any occasion. I love this nail polish. If you're close to my skin tone, you will love this as well. Okay, now we're gonna finish off the video by sharing my favorite perfume of 2018, which was so hard because I have a really big collection of perfumes. I love collecting them and I love switching up perfumes every day, but ultimately, I decided on this scent because this is like one of the most unique perfumes I have in my collection and the packaging is also so unique. This is called Kissing Burns by Killian and this is amazing. This perfume genuinely is like such a beautiful scent that lasts all day long. It is very strong. I definitely prefer my scents to be more on the stronger side so it's not like a subtle scent by any means but it is amazing. I don't know how to describe it, you guys. It's just feminine and girly and sexy and gorgeous all in one. Love this perfume. It's a great gift 
to buy for yourself before you buy for anyone else you're gonna love this. Okay everyone, that's it for me and my best of beauty for medium brown skin of 2018. I really hope you guys found this video useful. As always, I will be sure to link every single product that I mentioned in today's video in the description box below. So definitely check there if you wanna buy anything that I talked about. Follow me on all of my social media. Get ready for a lot of amazing content this year. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.